Hi, and welcome to Developer of Random. Before starting, you need some things installed on your system, which are Python, Anaconda, TensorFlow and Keras, etc. We will use Jupyter Notebook to execute Python code. Jupyter Notebook is an amazing editor for machine learning work. Now, let's first check out how our final result will look like. Download the pre-trained model from the link in the description and put it in any folder. Then open Jupyter Notebook and create a Python file and type this code. Notice that the image DIR will be the location of your input low quality images and output DIR will be the location of output high quality images. Main work of this code is to convert the input image to a format that is understandable by machine learning model and convert the output data to a format that is understandable by a human. Now, let's create the input image directory and the output image directory. And copy the low quality image into the input image directory. Now, we will run the last line of code. And wait for the machine learning model to convert our image. Remember, that the output image will be in the output directory. And, we got our output image. Let's compare it with our input image. Wow, we can clearly see, how great that conversion is. Now, the video is not over. If you want the complete code of how I made the model, watch till the end. I fast forwarded the video, because the actual footage is too long, but, you can pause the video and copy the code from video. So, I created the folder called ML and created a Python file in it. And the coding begins. First we are going to create the data loader class in the Python file. This will help us modify the training data so that our machine learning model can be trained accurately and efficiently. This data loader class contains some important and some basic functions such as image parsing, which will help us in the conversion of image to the form that is understandable by the machine learning model. This also contains random crop function, which will train the model by randomly cropping our image. Which will increase the accuracy of our machine learning model while converting the image. Also it has functions such as rescaling image which will zoom and unzoom the image while training to increase the accuracy. And finally this class has high low res pairs function which will be used while comparing the output and original image. Now, it's time to make the architecture of our machine learning model. Some people also call it the brain of the model. So, we are going to use the architecture of generative adversarial network which is simply called as GAN, and here we are using it for super resolution of images, so it is called as SRGAN. In this architecture we has a generator and a discriminator. Where, the generator converts the image and asks the discriminator, is that correct output then, the discriminator corrects it and the generator gets trained with time. For more accuracy, we have to train our model on hundreds and thousands of images, which we cannot do. So, we will use some features of a pre-trained model named VGG19. This model was used in a competition of ImageNet where it was trained on lots of images, and this is freely available to use. The following code is major part of the architecture. So, watch it carefully, you can tweak this a little bit and be able to get more accuracy than me.
So, now the architecture of our model is complete. Now, we will train the model. I will copy and paste the code of training of model. You can pause the video and copy this code. Now, call the main function of our code, and the model should start training. This training will take some time, depending on your system and number of training data. After the training is complete, you will get the trained model in the models folder in the folder of your Python file. I already have the model trained it so I will directly use that model. Create a new Python file to use the trained model for the image conversion. The following code and steps are the same which I showed at the starting of the video. So, do it and you can now convert any low quality image to a 4 times high quality image. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe now if you don't want to miss any video from my channel. And see you in the next video.